Mila Washer Disinfectors wash and disinfect reusable medical products from the dental field with a comfortable margin of process safety and offer a flexible range of services to dental practices. Inserts catering for individual needs, harmonised programmes and matching process chemicals ensure the thorough, economic and material compatible interior and exterior cleaning of instruments. The washer disinfector can be installed with great ease as a freestanding or built under unit in any hygiene room and is available in a range of sizes and specifications. This systematic approach provides a safe basis for effective instrument reprocessing. Machine-based cleaning and disinfection ensures maximum safety in combination with a minimum of time and effort. This has been confirmed by Germany's Robert Koch Institute. This high inherent margin of safety in particular has prompted hygiene experts and hygiene institutes to give preference to automatic reprocessing over manual methods. Miele washer disinfectors are made from particularly high quality and durable materials. This results in long-lasting and low-maintenance products which are designed and tested to provide 15,000 hours of reliable service. A powerful 400 litres per minute circulation pump ensures optimum results in terms of both internal and external cleaning of instruments, day in, day out. Miele's washer disinfectors feature a large cabinet with two rack levels for up to 26 lumened instruments. Miele's hygienic fresh water system ensures a fresh intake of water in each program phase. Three spray arms guarantee the perfect arrangement of nozzles to facilitate the thorough cleaning of external load surfaces, together with the injector system for lumined instruments and a broad selection of inserts. Miele is able to reprocess almost the entire range of instruments used by dentists. The Novatronic controls control and monitor all programs, ensuring safe processes. The Very OTD program, developed by Miele, sets new standards with respect to material compatibility and gentle instrument reprocessing. The current machine status is clearly indicated at all times by control indicators and symbols. The washer disinfector is equipped with an upper basket and a lower basket. Each can be fitted with a variety of inserts to cater for loads of different shapes and sizes. Depending on the challenges encountered in the daily running of a surgery, the washer disinfector can also be fitted with replaceable inserts and special purpose accessories for specific applications. The machine controls are located in the fascia panel of the washer disinfector. Here too are the on-off switch and the door button. During a current program, a display optionally indicates the temperature, the current program block or the program time expired. The user can cycle through these options using the button below the display. The extra drying option can be activated using the drying button. A program is launched by simply pressing the start button. The control indicators next to the buttons indicate whether a function is active or not. The yellow control indicators in the program sequence indicator provide information on the current program block reached during the cycle. The symbols have the following significance. Reactivation, pre-wash, main wash, rinse and final rinse, drying, and end of program. Red control and fault indicators are located below the program sequence indicator. A solid light indicates the need to refill the process chemical containers and a flashing light warns of a fault. The symbols have the following significance. Water intake and drainage, lack of reactivation salt, lack of neutralizing agent, lack of surfactant, and if a dispenser module is connected, a lack of liquid detergent.
Here too is the optical interface for use by technical service. Detailed information on the control and fault indicators is provided in the section on alerts and faults. The rotary selector with which to select programs is located on the right-hand side of the fascia. The following options are available. Special 93 degrees C 10 minutes, Vario TD, Drainage, One Freely Programmable Cycle, Universal, and Rinse. Along the lower edge of the machine front on model G7891 is a service hatch giving access to the Miele HEPA filter for drying the unit. The washer disinfector is equipped with an electrical door lock. The emergency release device bypasses this safety mechanism in the event of a power failure. The emergency release should only be operated when it is no longer possible to open the door in the usual way. The supply containers for powder detergent and surfactant are to be found on the door inner panel. This tank is filled with reactivation salt for the water softener to guarantee optimum cleaning results and to prevent scaling and deposits on instruments and the cabinet. The filter combination in the interior of the washer disinfector prevents coarse soiling and small parts from entering the circulation system. Connections for water intake and drainage are to be found at the rear of the machine. This is also where the connection for the dispenser module is located, with which liquid detergent is automatically dispensed as well as an optional interface for process documentation. Before first use, the installation and machine connections were inspected by Miele Service, and all settings in the controls set and documented. The machine is switched on by activating the main switch. Turning the program selector clockwise or anti-clockwise allows the selection of various programs. Use the Vario TD program for routine reprocessing jobs to meet general hygiene requirements, pursuant to EN ISO 15883, standard for all instruments able to withstand heat. The Vario TD program should be considered the standard program. It guarantees both the thorough cleaning and disinfection of instruments. After selecting a program, press Start. Alongside the Vario TD program, there are various special programs for use in special cases. Special 93 degrees C 10 is a special program and is only used in the event of an epidemic outbreak, when thermal disinfection at 93 degrees C and a 10 minute holding time is required. This is only rarely the case and is only necessary when health authorities warn of the outbreak of a notifiable disease. In contrast to Vario TD, thermal disinfection takes place not in the last water intake phase of the program, but in the first, in order to deactivate pathogens before any are discharged into the sewage system and endanger the environment. To select a program to suit individual needs, Turn the rotary selector to A. Contact Miele Service if programming is required. Universal is a program without thermal disinfection and is intended for normally soiled loads. The rinse program is used to pre-rinse heavily soiled loads. For example, instruments previously immersed in disinfectant solution in order to prevent excessive foaming which would otherwise impair cleaning performance. After filling the supply tank with reactivation salt, the rinse cycle can be used to remove salt residue and brine spillages in order to avoid corrosion and pitting. Always run this program, even if a program is to be run immediately afterwards. To drain off water, for example after an aborted program, turn the rotary selector anti-clockwise to the drainage program. Washer disinfectors developed by Miele represent a key component in the system for dent system. They allow users to comply with all requirements and regulations governing instrument reprocessing. Machine-based reprocessing with Miele washer disinfectors guarantees proper exposure times, 
the safe treatment even of lumined instruments and appropriate detergent concentrations. Leading hygiene institutes recommend the Vario TD program developed by Miele. In the Vario TD program, a pre-wash is performed at low temperatures to prevent the denaturation of blood. An intensive main wash and a neutralizing phase are followed by thermal disinfection at 90 degrees C with a holding time of 5 minutes. The gentle treatment of instruments is guaranteed in the final rinse by using demineralized water without any surfactant. This process is particularly gentle on materials and is recommended for reprocessing transmission instruments. Procare Dent represents a range of chemical products formulated to suit the Miele system, offering excellent cleaning performance, good material compatibility and protection against corrosion. The benefits offered by Procare Dent products are as follows. Excellent cleaning results with a good margin of process safety, combined with sparing and economical concentrations and tried and tested technology. The water softener is also set by Miele service during commissioning. This component requires reactivation salt. To add salt, open the door by pressing the door button when the machine is switched on and remove the lower basket. Turn the cap in the base of the unit anti-clockwise and pour 2.5 litres of water into the supply container before filling with salt. This ensures that the salt is properly dissolved. This procedure should be repeated each time salt needs replenishing. Then use the funnel provided to pour around 2.5 kilograms of coarse reactivation salt, for example Miele Procare Universal 61, into the salt container. The water in the container will cause some salt to spill out of the opening. On no account should table salt or de-icing salt be used as this could cause irreparable damage to the water softener. Both powder and liquid detergents are available for the cleaning process. Miele recommends products from the Procare Dent series as these are formulated to match washer disinfector programs. When using liquid detergent, an optional dispenser module is needed for automatic dispensing. The module can be programmed by service to dispense the correct amount of product. To replace the supply container, unscrew the container cap and remove the siphon. Make sure to wear safety gloves. Then insert the siphon into the new canister and screw tight. If the supply container was fully emptied and not refilled in time, it may be necessary to vent the dispensing system. See operating instructions for details. When using power detergent, use the dispenser in the door. Use a suitable measuring scoop to pour approximately 30 grams of powder detergent into the compartment and close the dispenser lid by pressing lightly. The lid engages audibly. To pour in surfactant, turn the container cap anti-clockwise and pour approximately 180 milliliters into the container. The use of Procare Dent 40 surfactant causes water to drain off the load more easily and accelerates the drying process. The container is full when the level indicator turns a dark color. Wipe off any spillages with a cloth in order to prevent excessive foaming in the next program cycle. Close the container using the screw-on cap. Note, on no account should detergent be poured into the container. This would result in irreparable damage to the surfactant container. The use of neutralizing agent helps avoid the discoloration of instruments and facilitates the removal of alkaline detergent residues. Miele service programs and vents dispensing systems during commissioning and sets up Procare Dent containers to guarantee reliable instrument reprocessing. Before introducing instruments, preferably directly after use, it is advisable to remove cement and composites residue from instruments using disposable wipes. Chemical disinfectant residues can result in the formation of foam in the reprocessing cycle and impair results. Consequently, instruments should be rinsed thoroughly under running water prior to reprocessing. 
Ensure that all reprocessed instruments are made from thermally resistant plastics or high-grade stainless steel. Single-use instruments should not be reprocessed. The load should be arranged so as to ensure that all surfaces are accessible to water. Items should not be nested or cover each other as this obstructs the jets of water. When washing instruments with long and narrow lumens, every effort should be made to ensure that passages are not blocked and can be fully irrigated. Before placing instruments into the upper basket, check that the spring-loaded adapter has properly engaged with the machine's water circuit. If this is not the case, turn the lock nut clockwise and slide the adapter up or down accordingly. Lock the adapter in place again by turning the lock nut anti-clockwise. The washer disinfector washes on two levels in an upper and lower basket, which can both be equipped with inserts to suit the load in hand. Two upper baskets are available, one with injector nozzles and one without nozzles. The injector basket washes and disinfects, for example, 15 extractors and 11 hand pieces and contra angles, or turbines, on 26 injector nozzles. These items are internally irrigated by the passage of wash liquor and thereby cleaned and disinfected. The row of nozzles can be equipped with the following adapters. Plastic extractors and surgical extractors are placed on injector nozzles and held upright by the rack. Hand pieces, contra angles and turbines are connected to silicone adapters. This facilitates internal cleaning and disinfection of the instruments. In order to protect hand pieces and contra angles from damage by particles, the wash liquor is passed through a ceramic filter. This filter must be replaced every 20 cycles or at the latest every 14 days. Consult the operating instructions issued by instrument manufacturers to determine whether hand pieces and contra angles can be subjected to reprocessing in a washer disinfector. The upper basket can also be used to wash other instruments. Half inserts are particularly suitable for use on the right-hand side of the basket. Loading an upper basket without a row of injectors is similar to a basket with injectors. The lack of injectors, however, means that lumined instruments cannot be reprocessed. The vacant space on the left-hand side can be used to accommodate additional inserts. Both upper baskets are height-adjustable, allowing the vertical clearance in the basket or the lower basket below to be adapted to the needs of the relevant loads. The upper basket is suitable, for example, for use with further inserts, trays, mesh trays and instrument cartridges. Given the risk of injury posed by instruments which are pointed at both ends or when placing probes with the pointed end facing upwards into racks, it is advisable to load items starting at the rear and working towards the front. Unloading should ideally be carried out in the opposite direction. Check the following aspects before each program start. Has the filter combination been properly fitted and is it free from coarse soiling? Do the containers contain sufficient process chemicals? Do the channels on lumined instruments allow the passage of wash liquor? Is the load properly arranged and connected to the water circuit? Is the basket adapter feeding water to the spray arms and nozzles properly docked? Are there any obstructions in the path of the spray arm? Close the machine door by applying slight pressure and switch the machine on. When the program selector is in the starting position, a dot shows in the display. Turn the program selector clockwise or anti-clockwise to the required program. Always select the Vario TD program for all routine treatment and transmission instruments. Model G7891 features active drying. To activate the drying, press drying immediately after program selection. The program is then extended by adding drying blocks 1 and 2. The drying time can be altered in 5 minute increments by repeatedly pressing the same button. 
This extends the program cycle accordingly. Now press the Start button to launch the Vario TD program. The actual temperature will appear in the display and the control indicator next to the Start button will light up. With the Display Toggle button, it is now possible to choose between the actual temperature, the currently active program block and the cycle time already expired. During a program cycle, all other programs are locked. The currently active program steps light up in the program sequence indicator. Once the program has started, it should only be terminated under special circumstances. For instance, if the load rattles or the spray arms produce unusual noises. Stop a program by turning the program selector to the starting position. The program is terminated after approximately two seconds. Press the door button to open the door. Caution, the load may be very hot. There is a risk of burns and scalding. After ensuring that the load is secure and properly positioned, close the door again and pump off the water using the drain program. Once the drain program has ended, Reselect the required program and press Start. Various control and fault indicators may light up or flash during the course of a program. The symbols indicate the possible cause of the fault. Salt indicator. There is no salt in the reactivation container. In this case, reactivation salt should be added. If the DOS control indicator comes on, this is an indication that the supply container for liquid detergent is empty. Replace the container for detergent. If the control indicator for neutralizing agent lights up, the container for neutralizing agent is empty. Replace the respective container. Caution! Always wear protective eyewear and gloves when handling chemicals. Replace the supply container when the surfactant indicator comes on. If the water intake drainage indicator flashes, refer to the display to find out whether it is a water inlet or drainage fault. Detailed assistance is provided in the operating instructions on all faults shown in the display and other faults which may occur. Miele Service will also gladly provide assistance. The program is finished when the respective program sequence indicator light is active and when the control indicator next to the start button is switched off. A zero shows in the display. All other control indicators produce a light chase effect. Use the toggle button to call up the actual temperature or the total running time of the completed program. Open the machine door carefully by pressing the door button. To complete drying, only open the door to the ajar position to allow steam to escape. Model G7881 features passive drying, which involves fully opening the door at the end of a cycle. In this case, the latent heat of the load after thermal disinfection at 90 degrees C is sufficient to evaporate moisture. The instruments are dry after around 10 minutes. On the G7891, Drying is fully automatic and relies on hot air. This dispenses with the need to open the door and wait until drying has ended before unloading the machine. Instruments should be removed from the upper and then the lower basket, starting from the front, before preparing instruments for sterilization. Documentation of instrument reprocessing can be performed in a variety of ways, depending on conditions and requirements. The washer disinfector is connected via a cable to a computer on which the documentation software is installed, or via the surgery network. When connected via a surgery network, processed data can, for example, be processed at a central PC installed at the reception desk. Washer disinfectors with a serial interface can be integrated into a surgery network using a network converter. 
As an alternative to direct or network connections, it is also possible to write process data to a USB memory and transfer the data later to documentation software. The USB module also contains a signature block for approvals. Instead of saving process protocols electronically, these can be printed out on a protocol printer in the hygiene room connected to the washer disinfector. Before filing printouts, these must be checked and signed for approval. Segosoft Mila Edition software facilitates documentation in digitalized form and can be connected to both the washer disinfector and a small steam sterilizer. After a program cycle, the instruments are inspected and the process evaluated. Loads are approved individually using the user's name and password. Data is then saved in a manipulation-proof way as a digitally signed PDF-A file. Gap-free and comprehensible documentation can be used to furnish proof of hygienic reprocessing at any time in the future. Procare-Dent products represent chemicals formulated to suit the Miele system, offering excellent cleaning performance and protection against corrosion. High-value dental instruments are reprocessed with high margins of safety and protected by the Miele system. A colour coding system for the various Procare-Dent products ensures ease of handling. The dispensers for liquid Procare-Dent products are labelled with tags to prevent mix-ups. Procadent products are tuned to the requirements of the Vario TD program and round off Miele's holistic and systematic approach to instrument reprocessing. Before work starts each day, the machine operator must perform certain routine tests. A checklist for these routine tests is supplied with the washer disinfector. Filters in the base of the cabinet prevent foreign bodies from entering the water circulation system. These filters can become clogged. As a result, the filters should be checked daily and cleaned as appropriate. Remove the coarse filter first by squeezing the two lugs towards the center and wash the filter under running water. Next, clean the filter insert the large surface filter and the microfine filter. After removing the filter insert, the microfine filter can be removed by turning anti-clockwise together with the large scale filter. The filter combination is refitted in reverse order. The large surface filter must fit snugly against the base of the cabinet and the coarse filter must be heard to engage. The nozzles in the spray arms may become clogged occasionally. For this reason, it is important to check the spray arms regularly. The spray arms are removed as follows. Remove the baskets from the machine. Release the knurled nut on the spray arm and remove. Use a pointed tool to force any residue back into the spray arm and rinse out under running water. The fascia panel should only be cleaned using a damp cloth. Use an appropriate product for wipe disinfection. Do not use abrasives or multipurpose detergents. These can result in considerable damage to plastic surfaces on account of their chemical composition. Clean the stainless steel front with a moist cloth and a dash of washing up liquid or with a non-scouring detergent specially formulated for stainless steel. Apply stainless steel milk to prevent the surface from soiling again fast. Clean the door gasket regularly by wiping with a moist cloth to remove soiling. Damaged or leaking gaskets should only be replaced by Miele service. Periodic maintenance must take place every 1000 operating hours or every 12 months, or at the latest after 18 months by Miele service. During initial validation, Miele Medical Product Engineers, specialised on medical devices, perform process checks in accordance with legal requirements and national recommendations. <laughs>